Getting tired of the common romantic happily ever after movies? Or the good guys always win in action movie? Twisted ending no longer surprising for you? Then you should try watching Stanley Kubrick movies. Here are 6 extraordinary films from Stanley Kubrick. Starring Tom Cruise and Nicole Kidman, Eyes Wide Shut is the last movie ever been made by Stanley Kubrick. This erotic drama film tells a story about sexual life of a marriage couple Dr. Bill Harford and Elise. With its absurdity and mature content, people need to be wise to understand this movie from the beginning until the end. This movie is adapted for Vladimir Nabokov's famous novel with the same title, Lolita. It tells a story about a middle-aged man, Humbert, who obsessed with a 12 years old girl named Dolores Hayes. And Lolita is his private nickname for Dolores. This movie gained a lot of controversies and rejected by most of American distributors. More commonly known as Dr. Strangelove, this black comedy movie satirized the Cold War fears between the USSR and the USA. Dr. Strangelove himself is a wheelchair eccentric former Nazi scientist. This movie is famous for the actor Peter Sellers, who played roles for three different characters. Alex Delarge is a leader of a small gang of teenage criminals. They rob, beat men, and rape women. Just until Alex was put to prison and used as a test subject for a rehabilitation experiment, which forced him to watch violence while listening to Beethoven's Symphony No. 9 for 14 years. The Shining is one of the most popular horror movies of all time. This movie isn't only about scary ghost appearance, but more about psychopath action while playing chase. Kubrick added a little twist for the ending that made a lot of different interpretations and arguments. 2001 A Space Odyssey is written by Kubrick and Arthur C. Clarke. This movie is trying to bring people through the philosophy of human existence. At the first premiere of this movie, 241 people walk out of the theater because they can't understand the story. But Arthur C. Clarke once gave a statement. He said, if you understand 2001 completely, we fail. We wanted to raise far more questions than we answered. 